32 win 32 PC 26 days to activate maybe that's because he uh, maybe he reinstalled Windows instead of wiping it and he didn't actually activate it I'll be kind of bummed if he gave me a bum copy of Windows he gave me this uh, this disc right here Windows 7 home premium disc with the product number and everything so hopefully I'm pretty sure I can just go ahead and write in or put in that product key and it'll activate this 64-bit and we got all six gigabytes available to us now before it said 2.99 available let's activate windows online and see if this number goes through and type a different the product key type has been blocked from use by microsoft oh my gosh so after trying to get this windows license key to up or activate i failed I, I even got somebody on the phone at Microsoft and they said that that product key has been blocked it's either been installed too many times on different computers or it's been pirated so it's trash now and this thing isn't even going to get tested anymore or anything like that I'm just going to take it apart and start listing stuff on eBay in all its glory man that is a just a mess of wires just tons of molex connectors the thing that sucks is that if I sell the case without the blu-ray and the disk drive then there's not going to be any there's not going to be any covers for this you know what I mean I wonder if I'll be able to order those. Not very many people even want disk drives anymore. But what they don't want is big holes in the front of their case. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> There's not very much thermal paste on there at all, to tell you the truth. Look at that. Just wipe it right off with my hand. My finger, I mean. Crusty. It's still filthy. But I'll try to clean it up a little bit before I list it on eBay. Alright, I got the case all stripped clean. And I've been scrubbing it down. It's actually looking pretty nice now. It's a little bit of scratching here and there, but this case is in really good condition. I went online to try to find a couple of these inserts, and I just I couldn't find any. There was none listed on eBay, and Tech doesn't sell them anymore. So I think what I'm going to be doing, I'm slowly taken apart that half 932 case that I've been using for all kinds of different parts and stuff and I have some bay grates left over from that and they actually fit in there pretty good the one thing see the little plastic sticking out right here on the 932 that kind of like pops into a little hole and obviously there's no little holes on the side right here but I think I'm going to cut some. I'll be able to push it in and it'll click right into some holes. I think somebody will buy this case for sure, especially when I put these in. I just took the top off of the computer. I needed to clean this fan, but it's still just 
filthy under here too. There's spider webs and hair. And look at this. Let's wipe this thing down. Wipe the fan down and put this lid back on and we'll be pretty much done. See those marks right there? That's from pushing that screen in there and kind of scratching up the edge. And the chances of me being able to drill a hole that's going to match like this little clip for it to clip in there it's slim to none as far as having everything line up perfectly and this little thing like snap into a hole so I don't want to screw up this by chopping into it and trying to do that so instead of doing that I grind it off that little tab see that and after cutting it in half I'm just gonna get some epoxy or something and epoxy it on the inside edge right here and it'll make it this is an insert from my Corsair case and it'll just be like basically some little wings on there that I can uh, then I'll be able to see how this one is down inside here I'll be able to screw it into here and have it just um, kind of chilling you know what I mean? That way it can just hang out right there and I'll be able to just put the um, put the front face plate on without having any kind of crazy cutting going on in that. Okay, so I mixed up some two-part epoxy and I cut those little that little plastic thing in half and I epoxied these things on there. So let's take it over here and see how it fits. So all I gotta do is make sure it's nice and flat like that. I'll go ahead and drill a couple little holes right here to hold it in place. Ah, that's way better than trying to drill holes in that other piece of plastic. Looks like my holes line up fairly good. Alright, let's go ahead and put some screws in this. Alright, so I mounted this first one and I think it looks pretty good. The only thing that kind of sucks is that you can see the mounts like through the screen and these other mounts are the same color as the case. See how that's black and that's gray? But, I mean, I got some gray primer. I might just hit that edge with some gray primer. Or I might not. What I should do is paint the whole interior of the case black. I mean, I got some paint, but that's just too much. These little tabs are a little bit different than that other one that I used, but it's also some plastic off of a Dell. And I cut them to size. Now I'm going to mix up some more epoxy and epoxy them on. I just did this one just now still super wet that's what she said <laughs> just joking sorry for, to my female viewers that was a joke <laughs> don't report me please I love the that's what she said jokes I mean come on if we can't do that then I don't want to live, dude. <laughs> I'd rather just freaking cash it in. Alright, I have both inserts finished now. And it lines up pretty nice. You know what I mean? There's no, there's nothing that would like make you think like, uh, that looks nasty. So I'm happy with that. Except for those tabs on the inside. I don't know if I should um, prime those, put a little gray primer to hide them, or if I should just paint the inside of the case. I mean, I'm only going to be able to get probably 40 bucks if I'm lucky for this case on Craigslist, so I don't know. 
I'll probably just prime those little tabs so they don't stand out like that and then put it on Craigslist. But tell me what you guys think in the comments. If um you think I should paint this out, do you think it if it's worth it, I'll I'll paint it. If not, I'll just leave it as it is. But it's pretty much ready to throw on Craigslist, except for those little tabs. Gotta put the panels back on. It's super clean. It's good.